Well, Halloween is about three weeks away, which means it's time to step foot inside a spectacular haunted house. This weekend, you're invited to travel through an old mansion filled with surprises around every corner. Joining us to talk all about it is Kelly Hicks, the executive director for Youth Goes Haunted House. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. First up, for those who don't really know what Youth Go is all about, tell us a little bit about it. Youth Go is a drop-in center for kids in fifth through twelfth grade. So we do everything from helping them with their homework giving them a safe and supportive place to spend their time after school and in the evenings and all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, one of those fun things is the haunted house. This is something you guys do every year. How many years now? This is the 27th year. 27th. So how much work goes into this? A lot. Um, we have a great group of adult volunteers that start working on the house in March. Um, we start getting our youth involved in um, usually July. Okay. And uh, it's, it's just a great opportunity. Last year we had 140 kids get involved from start wow, to finish. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about this year's haunted house. I know you can't give away too many details, but you can tell us a little bit about it, right? Um, yeah, it's a it's a haunted mansion this year. Okay. So um, all of the rooms look like rooms that would be in a house. Um, we've put a lot of work into the decor and what everything looks like, and I'm really, really proud of it this year. That's amazing. Where is it if people want to go to it? We are located at 333 West Cecil Street in Nina in the okay. Old City Garage. Okay, and it's running every weekend through this month? Fridays and Saturdays in October, and also the last Thursday of October. Okay, and I understand that October 27th, some little kids out there, especially the little ones, the haunted house is probably a little too much for them, so you guys have something special for the little kids, We right? do. We okay. do a children's day, and it runs from 12 until 4 on the 27th, and we turn the lights on, and everyone inside is friendly, and there's trick-or-treating and carnival games and things like that. What's the best part of this for you every year? I would say seeing our youth get involved, seeing them come out of their comfort zones, and take mm -hmm. leadership roles, and they do a phenomenal job. If you want a good scare, our, our haunted house is the place <laughs> to go. And these kids, I mean, talk Talk about this program, the program and the Haunted House, how much this benefits them, too. It's, it's such a great opportunity. They get to learn new things. We, we actually train the kids to do the makeup. We have okay. a couple kids that we choose to be leaders and kind of help out the staff. And, you know, you see these kids who are normally kind of quiet, kind of shy, and you put the costume and makeup on them, and they just, it, it's amazing what they come up with. That's great. All right, so one last time, if people want to go to it, tell them the who, what, when, where, why. All right, Fridays and Saturdays in October um, from 6.30 to 10 p.m. at 333 West Cecil Street in Nina. Perfect. And if people want more information on Youth Go, where can mm -hmm. they go for that? Our website is youthgo.org. It's easy to remember, you guys. All right, Kelly, thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Those kids, they're pretty scary. All right, we'll be right back.